The 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, driven. The new Pathfinder is lighting up the sales charts with its seven seats and a newly luxurious, efficient and smooth driving experience. Far from going soft, the Pathfinder is still able to do all the truck-like things that made its previous body-on-frame models so memorable. The top-speed garage is much classier with the 2014 Pathfinder Platinum in valet first position out front. Have kid-friendly features totally stomped out the lunettery toughness of the chiseled hardbody Nissan SUVs from the 1980s? The irrelevance of this question is pretty clear. This is a business, and Nissan knows it. We're thrilled to report that the Pathfinder has not lost its way. Guiding the trails like it did as one of the first semi-premium, imported SUVs in the 1980s, the Pathfinder is on a new trail now, a much smoother trail. One that has dual video monitors in back, a sliding, reclining second row to stretch out with the wireless headphones, and even a heated rear seats for the ultimate in couch potato lounge amenities in back. But what about the irritating and non-premium character of most previous CVT automatics? As confessed CVT haters and without rug rats, yet, our expectations were quite mixed before the 2014 Pathfinder Platinum rolled into the top speed garage. The latest CVT automatic is standard and truly is a new breed of lightweight and economical transmissions, and we took a quick video of a brake torque launch to show how snappy this new Xtronic box is. Click past the jump for the full top speed garage review of the 2014 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum 4x4, by far one of the most impressive seven seat crossovers on the market. Exterior As warmly as we feel about all the new Pathfinder's accomplishments inside and under the hood, the exterior styling is not quite as successful from all angles. The defining element is the new V-Bar chrome grille face that is making its way from the Titan range onto this new Pathfinder and the all-new 2014 Nissan Rogue. The little Rogue, which also seats 7 for 2014, shares key surfacing elements with its bigger brother. While the new Rogue does build in some additional tautness with creased panels, the Pathfinder is firmly in the soft styling camp that produced the feline-inspired Q70 Infinity range. The Pathfinder really looks best from the front, where its sharp headlamp angles and the prominent new grille are large enough to check your hair like a bathroom mirror. The 2014 Rogue's LED running lights are also absent on the Pathfinder, despite this truck being new just this year. Moving to the profile, the front overhang is actually quite tight and the hood reasonably butch for this car's dual-family, outdoors man mission. A lack of major details can leave the body sides looking a bit shapeless, but overall the Pathfinder looks modern and expensive in profile. Similarly conservative tail lights and non-LED brake lights are a bit of a throwback versus some Nissan and Infiniti releases, which were some of the first mainstream cars to come with LED dots for the Murano and Heavenly G35 from the early 2000s. Functional shapes mean the bumper and load heights in back are far lower than any truck-based models, and the cargo hatch is a wide and power-operated shape for the top trims. Stylish wheels and classy paints help the Pathfinder seem new, but the LED omission is curious versus the spaceship lighting of the still-popular Lexus RX. It does reinforce the no-nonsense attitude of the truck, leaving the pricey embellishments for people seeking a flashier driveway showpiece. Even so, Xenon lighting is a very nice feature to have out on the dark trails. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, available 4x4 detail 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, exterior features Smart auto headlights fog lights roof rails tow hitch receiver with 7-pin wiring harness dual power heated outside mirrors with reverse tilt down feature chrome body side moldings front UV reducing solar glass and rear privacy glass interior. Get ready for some glowing praise. Versus the narrow and cheap previous Pathfinders, this new version feels fantastic from every angle. Even with eyes closed, a big improvement. A simple yet ergonomic dash design is classy, mature and not too boisterous with loud accents or other clutter. It just feels about a foot wider and the floor's completely flat design means that the driving position is now much more conventional. Sitting with legs down is much more comfortable over long periods of driving versus the legs forward position of truck-based SUVs. A huge central armrest and room to juggle is a final treat in this roomy hauler. The tall window glass house and tall roof are quite impressive, especially considering the dual moonroof setup of the loaded Platinum Tester. 
Material quality is not even comparable versus the previous gen's shiny and 1990s gray plastics. Everything feels modern, robust and of excellent quality. Charcoal or almond leathers offer some personalization inside, and both are discreet and tasteful. Comparing the Pathfinder to its Infinity siblings interior shows how similar these two machines are. Without a spec sheet for the previous JX35 handy to confirm, we would be very surprised if any of the Infinity features are not available somewhere on this much cheaper Nissan. The around view monitor is present and helpful, but the latest radar and laser cruise and city braking is absent. Not a problem for many drivers, as the Pathfinder's rear sonar is good enough. Lasers, sonar and tripe radars front and back. This is a crossover, not a combat vessel. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, second row lounge detail. The second row is pretty remarkable, with a large range of sliding adjustment and recline settings to get seriously relaxed back there. Class leading legroom comes standard. On the Triple P, aka the Pathfinder Platinum Premium, twin video screens, four 12-volt ports, headphones, remotes and chargers, climate, audio controls are all within reach of the second row. The roominess, comfort, quietness and flexibility of the second row is a class-leading feature, even versus the jumbo Chevrolet Traverse that is a cool foot longer in overall length. More than an old Pathfinder, this back seat might be better than the Armada for long-range naps. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, third row access detail. Accessing the third row is very simple. A spring-loaded slider tilts and moves the second seat out of the way, clearing an access that the Mazda CX-9 and BMW X5 cannot match. Critically, the second row back-forth operation seems like it can be accomplished by kids. The Armada has heard kid-sized complaints that its high exterior rear door handle needs mom's help. Luckily, the large and low-handled chrome rear ports are light and easy to open with bags in one hand, and the door's wide and large access is really helpful for child seats loading. Finally, the trunk behind that third row is another class-leading achievement. It also slides and tumbles with one hand, and a smaller compartment down below houses the Bose Wave Audios various gizmos. This thing will play Kidsbop on the Bluetooth streaming Pandora at levels so loud and clear that the kids in back might be deaf for days. Good times. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, Interior Features Advanced Drive Assist Display Nissan Hard Drive Navigation System with 8-inch VGA touchscreen monitor and voice recognition Nav Traffic and Nav Weather with 3-month trial subscription provided by SiriusXM Zagat Survey Restaurant Reviews Rear Sonar System Around View Monitor Push Button Ignition, Nissan Intelligent Key Power Liftgate with Position Memory Remote Engine Start System Bluetooth Hands-Free Phone System Homelink Universal Garage Door Opener Tri-Zone Automatic Temperature Control ATC, within cabin microfilter variable intermittent speed sensitive flat blade windshield wipers intermittent rear window wiper auto dimming rearview mirror 4 12 volt DC power outlets 120 volt AC power outlet sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and extension power tilt telescopic steering column front seat back map pockets overhead sunglasses holder 8 cup holders and 6 bottle holders cargo area tie downs 8 cargo area under floor storage 8 way Power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar driver's seat and outside mirrors position memory steering wheel position memory four-way power adjustable front passenger's seat EZ flex seating system with second row 60 40th split fold flat bench seat featuring latch and glide and third row 50 50 split fold flat reclining bench seat leather appointed seats front and second rows and door trim climate controlled front seats heated and cooled heated rear seats heated steering wheel leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob Bose audio system with AM, FM, CD, Sirius XM satellite radio with 3-month trial subscription, MP3, WMA CD playback capability, DVD video playback capability, auxiliary audio, video input jacks, USB connection port for iPod interface and other compatible devices, streaming audio via Bluetooth wireless technology, 13 speakers, including Bose acoustic waveguide technology, 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, Platinum Premium Package $2,300 Dual Panorama Moonroof Rear Auxiliary Audio, Video Input Jacks Tri-Zone Entertainment System 
2014 Nissan Pathfinder SL Tech Package New for 2014 Includes the full-feature nav camera and audio system from the top models, sends the rear monitor's drivetrain, suspension and brakes. We challenge you to find a more hardcore group of auto riders against CVT automatics than us. For the Pathfinder to be so far ahead of any previous Xtronic is really incredible, especially while offering a 5,000-pound tow rating that beats anything else in its segment. The new CVT brings far less friction loss, more advanced silent chains to convey the power without, and a perceptible kickdown for passing that has never been a CVT feature before. As the above video shows, the CVT does its job at delivering smooth acceleration, far better economy, 26 MPG highway is another contender for class best. It also makes the Pathfinder so much more friendly in town than any Tahoe or Q7. Barely spinning the engine to cruise at any speed, the CVT is also pretty effective at delivering the engine's 240 pound-feet of torque. The engine is a smooth and zingy unit with some low rev character in its thrum, but also a distinctly high performance urgency near its 7000 RPM red line. The torque happy V6 is much, much smoother and friendly than this engine on other Nissan crossovers, where it previously sounded unhappy at high revs. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, Mechanical Features Electronic Drive by Wire Throttle Hill Start Assist Xtronic CVT Continuously Variable Transmission 4-Wheel Vented Disc Brakes Anti-Lock Braking System ABS Electronic Brake Force Distribution EBD Brake Assist Independent Strut Front Suspension Independent Multi-Link Rear Suspension Dual Flow Path Shock Absorbers Front and Rear Stabilizer Bars Electronic Hydraulic Power Assisted Speed Sensitive Steering 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, Performance Details 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, CVT Technical Detail Safety 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, Safety Features Nissan Advanced Airbag System AABS, with Dual Stage Supplemental Front Airbags with Seat Belt and Occupant Classification Sensors Driver and Front Passenger Seat Mounted Side Impact Supplemental Airbags Roof Mounted Curtain Side Impact Supplemental Airbags with Rollover Sensor for Outboard Occupant Head Protection for All Three Rows Vehicle Dynamic Control VDC, with Traction Control System TCS, Active Brake Limited Slip ABLS, 3.0 ALR, ELR Passenger Seat Seat Belt System ELR for driver, front seat belts with pre-tensioners and load limiters adjustable front, outboard second and third row head restraints latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children, zone body construction with front and rear crumple zones hood buckling creases, energy absorbing steering column and pipe style steel side door guard beams tire pressure monitoring system TPMS with individual tire pressure display and easy fill tire alert Nissan vehicle immobilizer system and vehicle security security system pricing and availability. The Pathfinder is available now nationwide, with the hybrid arriving with final prices in the next few months. 2014 Nissan Pathfinder – Prices Competition The Pathfinder is as top 3 contender for the 2013 sales ranks in its new segment. Toyota Highlander We always forget this car exists. A redesign for 2014 aims to address the tiny third row and mini cargo area with all the seats up. It looks relatively fresh with a new grill up front announcing its arrival before the rest of the Toyota gets on the scene. Nissan Pathfinder Hybrid Evidence of how lucrative the SUV business has been for Nissan and Toyota is visible in the depth of each of their crossover and SUV car lines. For 2014, Nissan is launching an all-new hybrid powertrain as an option on the Pathfinder. It marks a huge advancement in previous hybrid crossovers like the Lexus RX because it maintains the full third row with folding seats intact. It also brings a supercharged gasoline four-cylinder to a drivetrain that can be equipped as both normal front-wheel drive or as hybrid AWD. The benefits of the previously unpleasant CVT keep rolling in, it would seem. Conclusion This new truck's impressive refinement is a huge achievement for Nissan's future market share in the exploding three-row crossover market. Not only is the Pathfinder now on the right track to improve its sales, but the truck keeps the capabilities that are often asked of a big family machine like this. 
As a front drive model or with optional locking four-wheel drive, the new Pathfinder has great balance in the corners in 4x4 auto mode, but a far smoother ride than even the old Infiniti QX Foz Pillow Y and Wallow Y spring settings. The Pathfinder's ground clearance is still in the Range Rover Sport League, and towing capacity is still an impressive 5,000 pounds. The floor is lower, the around view cameras are a great feature when parking, and overall the Pathfinder just seems fit for purpose much more than the forerunner that is taking one last shot at luring off road fans with a 2014 facelift. In the reality of today's market for capable crossovers, anything without easy city driving manners and three rows is starting to look quite dated next to the sophisticated 2014 Nissan Pathfinder. Love it the Pathfinder grew up and is better for all its changes we should all be so lucky. Pretty speedy, huge cabin is biggest in class, smooth ride but much nimbler than ever before. Leave it LED lighting for the cheaper, and also 7C, 2014 Rogue is offered as daytime running accents and also the low beams but the swanky Pathfinder limo lacks even LED brake lights if the Pathfinder cannot find its way into the future, what nameplate can? If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.